Hi all, here we have a few more examples on solving equations with fractions. In this example we have x minus 3 out of 3 plus 1 out of 6 equals to 7 out of 8. When you have an equal sign you can do the same thing to both sides and what I am going to do is multiply each term by least common denominator of 3, 6, and 8. I am going to use a box method to find that number. So 3 and 6 can both be divided by 3. So 3 divided by 3 gives us 1. 6 divided by 3 gives us 2. 8 remains the same. Now I still have two numbers that can be divided by something other than 1. So I'm going to divide 2 and 8 by 2. 1 will remain the same. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So least common denominator of 3, 6, and 8 is 3 times 2 times 4. Multiplying by 1 does not change a number. So I'm not including those factors. So this is 6 times 4. So our least common denominator is 24. I have a subtraction in one of the numerators, so I'm going to put parentheses around it. And I'm going to multiply each term by 24. 24 is a whole number, it's out of 1, so it's only going to be multiplying numerators. On the next step, I'm going to reduce each of the denominators with least common denominator. 3 will go into 24 8 times, so we have 8 times our parentheses x minus 3 plus 6 goes into 24 4 times 4 equals 8 goes into 24 3 times so it's a 3 times 7 we need to simplify each side as much as possible before solving so first thing to do is distribute this 8 we copy the parentheses so we have x minus 3 each of the terms gets an 8 times 8 times 8 plus 4 as is equals to 3 times 7, 21. So we have 8x minus 8 times 3, 24 plus 4 equals to 21. We have like terms, negative 24 and 4. Different signs, so we're going to calculate difference. We have more negatives, so the difference will be negative. 24 minus 4 gives us 20. Keep everything else as is. 8x equals to 21. Now that each side is simplified as much as possible, we're going to solve. 8x, that's a multiplication, minus 20. So we're going to undo subtraction first by doing plus 20. Whatever you do to one side, you want to do the same thing to the other side. So we have 8x, this adds up to 0, equals to 21 plus 20, 41. x is being multiplied by 8, the opposite would be to divide by 8. Whatever you do to one side, you want to do the same thing to the other side. So x is equal to 41 out of 8, and this is our solution. Here we have x plus 5 out of 3 equals to x plus 7 out of 4. I'm going to multiply each term by least common denominator of 3 and 4, which is 12. Now since there is addition in numerators, I'm going to put parentheses around them. So times 12 times 12. So we have 12 x plus 5 out of 3 equals to 12 x plus 7 out of 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times x plus 5 equals to 12 divided by 4 is 3 times x plus 7. Now we distribute, so copy the parentheses, we have x plus 5 times 4 times 4 equals to x plus 7 
times 3 times 3 so we have 4x plus 20 equals to 3x plus 21 now that each side is simplified we can solve for x first thing I'm going to do is to take away 20 from both sides so now we have 4x that's a 0 equals to 3x different signs we look for difference between 21 and 20 we have more positives so it's a plus and the difference is 1 now we're going to take away 3x from both sides we have 4 minus 3 of x equals 2 that's a 0 1 4 minus 3 is 1 so x is equal to 1 and this is our solution to check we plug in x equals to 1 into x plus 5 out of 3 equals to x plus 7 out of 4 so substituting 1 we have 1 plus 5 out of 3 equals to 1 plus 7 out of 4 so we have 6 out of 3 should be equal to 8 out of 4 6 divided by 3 is 2 equals to 8 divided by 4 is 2 so that's a true statement here we have 2x out of 3 plus 1 out of 7 equals to 4 out of 21. First thing we need to do is find least common denominator of 3, 7, and 21. 3 and 21 can both be divided by 3, so we get 1. 3 goes into 21 7 times. Drop the 7, we can still reduce by 7. Now we have 1, 1, 1. So this common denominator is 3 times 7, which is 21. Now there is no plus or minus in numerators, so I can just multiply each term by 21. 21 and 21 will cancel. 7 goes into 21 3 times. 3 goes into 21 7 times. So we have 7 times 2x plus 3 times 1 equals to 1 times 4. 7 times 2 is 14x plus 3 equals to 1 times 4, 4. Now that each side is simplified, we can solve. First thing we're going to do is undo addition by taking away 3 from both sides so we have 14x that's a 0 equals to 4 minus 3 is 1 x has been multiplied by 14 the opposite is to divide by 14 whatever you do to one side you want to do the same thing to both sides so this cancels and x is equal to 1 out of 14 and this is our solution here we have x divided by 2 equals to x out of 3 plus 9 out of 2 and least common denominator of 2 and 3 is 6. So let's multiply each term by 6. 6 is out of 1 so it will be multiplying just numerators not denominators. 2 goes into 6 3 times. So we have 3 times x equals 2. 3 goes into 6 2 times. So we have 2 times x plus 2 goes into 6 3 times. 3 times 9. So we get 3x equals to 2x plus 3 times 9, 27. Let's bring x's to the same side by taking away 2x. So we have 3 minus 2 of x equals to, that's a 0, 27. We have 1x equals to 27. And this is our solution. That's all.